And with that being oh, yeah. said, let's talk about Skagway, Alaska. Okay. Let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do kind of the same thing we did last week. We're going to talk about the shore excursions that are available at our Skagway stop. Um, you know, we're not going to go through them with a fine tooth comb. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to read out what they are, give you a brief synopsis. If you want to hear the full detail, we'll do that. Um, and a lot of these are going to be similar to ones that we heard in Juno. It's just they're in Skagway. What's uh, what do we have? Uh, what temperatures like? Sure, give me just a second. Let's pull that up. We've got uh, in Skagway, the average temperature when we're going is between 34 to 49 degrees with an average precipitation of 1.2 inches. Okay, not too bad. So it could be so, rainy, but yeah, it might be a little rainy, but maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. So uh, the way that I've set these is I've pulled just the shore excursions that should be available for when we go based on their length and based on uh, all of that. So first up, we've got dog sledding and glacier flight scene helicopter. Um, I'm sure it's like the same like the last one. Yeah, it, it's it's combining a, a helicopter flight scene tour with uh, some dog sledding. So... Uh, it's it's very similar to uh, to what we saw in Juno. Is are, are there people fighting outside of your house? No, I think my brother was singing or something. Ah, <laughs> it's been super windy down here in Vegas. By the way, it's I don't know. It's really been like the past couple of days. It's been absolutely windy. It's been very windy here as well here in northern oh, Nevada. So yeah, yeah. It's, how much was that? Uh, how much was that one? By the way, the the dogs. How much is that one? That's uh, six hundred twenty-nine dollars, and it's a uh, two-hour excursion. Oh, well, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same price. Yeah, so it's a thirty-minute flight. Uh, yeah, so no canes or crutches, no GoPro sticks or any extendable devices. No, oh, all right. Uh, next up, we've got a heli hike and White Pass Railway. So this is the first time you're going to hear uh, the White Pass Railway mentioned. And yeah. uh, you're going to hear the White Pass Railway mentioned multiple times today. Uh, and this is this is the train ride. And what I'd like to do for just a moment is get really quiet so we can all listen and enjoy your brother singing. <laughs> I think he's taking a shower. So <laughs> his his like so in so basically that back wall where my dresser is. That's his bathroom is on the other side of that wall. <laughs> well, you, you need to have a talk with him about when we're recording because uh, I told him, I told him, but I don't know if he, yeah, that's funny. Okay. Continue. So, Tyre, really quickly, Tyrus does call out these prices seem to be super inflated. These are tourist towns that we are going to, and they haven't had much tourism in the last two years. Ah. So that could be. Uh, hopefully they will go down because I remember the dog sledding to be about five hundred dollars. And you went what just a few years back? Was it? Did he say like it's been like three years or something like that since he's been? Uh, I believe he said he went in the inaugural year, which I believe was twenty eighteen. So oh, so like so I'm sure years. he'll I'm sure he'll correct us if we're wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but next up is the heli hike and white pass railway. So this is a three. Uh, and for those of you just catching up with us, uh, a, a one is lazy. That's for me. Uh, a two is, uh, let's go do a little bit of activity. And a three is, uh, probably not so much. For yeah. Me. Two, two is, two is up my, like a two is something I would, I'd like to, two is or something I'd like to do. Ones I could definitely do, but yeah, threes, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> so here, let me just read this one because this is an example of a three. It's our first example. So let's go ahead and just read it. So uh, combine a scenic helicopter flight, a wilderness hike in the Tongass National Forest, and a ride aboard the historic narrow gauge White Pass and Yukon route Railroad. It's a perfect mix of breathtaking scenery, great transportation, and exercise. Board a helicopter for your flight with views of glacially carved valleys and stunning scenery before landing at Glacier Station. 
set out on a three to five mile hike along the remote upper Skagway River and through pristine old growth and temperate rainforest on your way to see the magnificent Lawton Glacier. Your guide will share information about the region's unique natural history, plants, and animals throughout the hike and allow plenty of time for photography. Bears, mountain goats, moose, and other wildlife call Lawton Valley home. Return to Glacier Station and board the White Pass and Yukon Route Railroad for the 14-mile scenic ride back to Skagway while enjoying a snack and beverage en route. Your guide will provide an overview of the train and its history. Flight patterns vary based on current weather conditions. Hmm. So that's a three. Yeah, at the same time, I don't know if I, I mean, like if I'm going to do the, if I'm going to do that train, I want to be able to really enjoy it. And I don't think me having walked around and stuff like that would be, you know, and then getting on this train would be super comfortable, at least for me, because I know I sweat. So, yeah. So I'm, uh, again, a three does not interest me. Um, I don't <laughs> think I've seen one yet that I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to do that three. Yeah, I don't uh, think I think that there's been some twos that I was like, yeah, but like, yeah, some of the threes. I, we, I think uh, last week when we were talking, the threes were like, you know what? Can I just meet you at the end? <laughs> right. Because that's usually where the food is, right? That's where the food and, and, and the drinks were. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, we've got uh, Glacier Discovery by helicopter. So this is, you know, they fly you around and you get out and walk around on a helicopter. I'm oh, sorry, walk on the around glacier. on the glacier. Yeah. Wow, you can walk around on a helicopter? Wow. Yeah, it's pretty Living big the edge. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and, and going back really quickly to that heli hike in White Pass Railway, that's 529, mm, just okay. to give that, flesh that one out fully. Uh, next up is one that uh, you had mentioned that you had interest in, which is the ATV adventure at Glacier Point uh, oh, for yeah. six and a quarter hours. That's 450 bucks uh, driving around uh, in the rugged Alaskan outback. So um, that that definitely seems like it could be an interesting one. Uh, yeah. For me, the one that I am most leaning towards right now is the VIP White Pass Scenic Railway. Um, and this is a almost three-hour duration. Uh, this is uh, – I'm just going to read this one. This is a level one, folks. So um, – <laughs> Experience the dramatic beauty of Southeast Alaska while traveling aboard the White Pass and Yukon Route Railway's premier luxury parlor car. As you ascend from sea to summit, enjoy your inclusive beverages and regionally sourced appetizers as you share this unique experience with your travel companions. You'll be accompanied by a private guide who will highlight the scenic viewpoints and inform you about the Klondike Gold Rush and the building of the railroad. Your ride to the White Pass Summit will take you through two tunnels, over sky-high trestles, and into remote valleys, passing Bridal Veil Falls, Inspiration Point, and Dead Horse Gulch. This narrow-gauge railroad is an international historic civil engineering landmark sharing the honor with the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, you've been talking about that since since you first heard about that one, so... It's three ninety nine. Yeah, you've been you've been wanting to do that one since like day one. Yeah, that's that's the one I'm the most leaning towards. Now, the one thing I will say is uh, at Skagway, we're there for 10 hours, uh, almost 11. So uh, I, I got to talk to Terry about this, but I would imagine that if you're doing like two shorter ones, let's say, that should be completely feasible. So I could see Skagway being a place where I do two excursions, do the train and do something else. Um, just because... Why not? Especially since, as we discovered when we looked at some of this before, Skagway's got a lot of stuff going on that seems absolutely interesting. Yeah. And uh, Tyrus, in regards to inflation stuff, uh, says that he's mainly speaking about pre-COVID. He took a cruise to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, last year, and it was the same overinflated prices. Mm. And we've got our dam checking in. Brian's out there. Uh, it's, he's saying, seems like the lower impact activities are the cheaper ones. Yeah, generally that's true. <laughs> it doesn't involve doesn't involve helicopters and stuff. <laughs> yeah, why why would I want to pay over five hundred dollars to go on a hike? Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> I I got hiking for free, right? <laughs> uh, next up, we've got the Glacier Point Wilderness Safari. Um, 
Yeah, and, Debbie, yeah, Debbie checked in real quick because they said depending on time for two excursions at one stop. Yeah, and I mean, that's definitely depending on time. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and as we've seen, some of these have daytime excursions and nighttime excursions. And so to me, this is going to be one of those stops where I could really see doing something in the morning and then, you know, having lunch or whatever, and then going out and doing something in the evening. So, yeah. Uh, this is like our, is this like our longest stop? Uh, I think this one has the longest uh, time that we're in port. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to glaze through some of these unless you want to hear them. Next up is the Denver Valley Wilderness Hike and White Pass Rail. Uh, again, it's a level three. That's a, a hike and a train ride. Then you've got the Lawton Glacier Wilderness Hike and White Pass Railway. So Keep going. <laughs> hike, hike and a train ride. Uh, oh, this one's even better. A White Pass Railway and Alpine Snowshoe Hike. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Have me walking around in the cold. Got me messed up. <laughs> so this is one of the ones that I, I like as well, and I'm going to go ahead and read this one in, in its entirety. So this is the Best of Skagway and White Pass Railway. And this is actually a featured one on the NCL website. Okay. This is a six-and-a-half-hour uh excursion okay if you want to really experience skagway this tour will show you the best skagway has to offer ascend the beautiful mountains on the white pass and yukon route railroad from your antique narrow gauge car view incredible scenery as your tour guide shares stories and the history of the klondike gold rush in Fraser, British Columbia, you'll board a deluxe motor coach to travel to the spectacular Klondike Highway, taking in the sights of Tormented Valley and Pitchfork Falls. At the foot of the pass, nestled next to a waterfall, rests Liarsville Gold Rush Trail Camp and Salmon Bake. Here, a cast of sourdoughs and dance hall girls will entertain you with a hilarious melodrama and a poem. You'll be set free in the Liarsville Goldfields, where you'll be where you are guaranteed to find the precious metal that drove people wild with gold fever. Enjoy a barbecue of freshly grilled Alaskan salmon, baked beans, potatoes, coleslaw, sourdough rolls, coffee, lemonade, and hot apple strudel. Mm. You know the Rock likes that. <laughs> Wander over to camp to see the waterfall and have your picture taken with one of the dance hall girls. The grand finale is a visit to the Red Onion Saloon in the historic downtown Skagway. The Red Onion's madams will throw you a private party in the prestigious Red Onion Brothel. Enjoy Alaskan amber beer, wine, or madams punch as you are entertained by the tales of the girls who used to work in these historic rooms. You'll see the priceless nickel silver dress worn by the Onion's first madam and many other artifacts. Embrace the true spirit of 1898 and sign on for an experience of a lifetime. That all is 309. Whoo, sheesh. That's a lot going on there. That sounds that sounds like a blast and a half. Yeah. So that this is what I mean. Like some of these are cheaper, but you feel like you might be getting more. Get so, way more. So it's it's just a matter of what you're looking to do. Next up is the Last Frontier UTV Adventure, six and a half hours oh. driving out. No, I want right. to I want to know that one. You want this one? Yeah. Right. Your tour begins with a short walk from the pier to board a catamaran for a scenic 45 minute cruise along North America's longest and deepest fjord to Haines. Along the way, you'll witness spectacular views of waterfalls and ice sculpted peaks as you guide, as your guide points out marine wildlife. Drive razor style UTVs in the Alaskan wilderness, scenic mountain and river views with wildlife viewing opportunities abound. Your knowledgeable guide will meet you at the dock in Haines, a scenic 26 mile drive along the National Scenic Byway and through the Chick Cat Bald Eagle Preserve brings you to our remote staging area. At the staging area, you'll receive an orientation and safety briefing on our Razor style UTVs from your guides. Guests wishing to drive must be 21 years old and bring a valid driver's license. There are a combination of two-person and four-person machines to accommodate varying group sizes and families. There are several spots along the tour where we can swap drivers to give everyone some time at the wheel. Mm 
The UTVs are automatic transmission and drive similar to a car for ease of operation. These high-performance UTVs are fun to drive and a great way to explore the Alaskan wilderness. Over the next 15 miles of gravel road, your guide will lead you through a series of remote areas and will explore the wilds of Alaska. As we drive along beaver ponds and mountain meadows, we may spot swans, salmon, eagles, bears, or moose along the way. We'll cross over Little Salmon Creek and ascend to a series of viewpoints overlooking the Klahini, Tsirka, and Chikat River Valleys. From our high point, we'll enjoy a picnic lunch while we bask in the surrounding mountain views before you return to the fast ferry for the ride back to your ship. Two ninety nine. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I, that, that, that sounds. I mean, yes, the railroad sounds fun, uh, like that that last one you did, but that one also sounds like it could be really fun too. And that's the hard part, right? Because I agree with you. This sounds like it would be an absolute blast. So that, that's where you've got to, okay, is there somewhere else on this trip at one of the other three stops that I can right. do something like this? Right. Next up is the White Pass Railway and Glacier Lake Kayak. That's only a level two, but nah, nah, you get to... Nah. Yeah, nah. I'm not down with kayak, you know. Fair enough. Oh, this is the one I saw before. I think gold, this is the one. Gold Nugget Sled Dogs and Exclusive Scenic Railway. Yeah, that's that one. So this is a this is a level one. It's a six hour excursion, um, and I'll just read the highlights. Uh, okay. You get to visit a musher's camp and watch sled dogs demonstrate their strength and stamina, pan for gold, much like the prospectors did, and ride in a private railway car on the White Pass, following the route that the prospector prospectors took. Okay. So okay. Uh, this tour, there's a note. This tour includes approximately two hours of easy to moderate walking. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. I'm just saying, two hours might walking. not be hiking, but that's two hours of walking. Yeah, How many miles know. can you walk in two hours? Nah, I don't really know because I haven't really walked two miles. <laughs> I'm saying, you, if even if you're lazy like me, you should be able to walk a mile in about 20 minutes. So oh. you're talking about maybe six miles of walking. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Just saying. This one sounds interesting, uh, except I think you were a little scared. We talked about this one before. It's the White Pass Railway and Klondike Bicycle. It's four and a half hours. Uh, you get to ride the train, and then you get to ride some bicycles 15 miles downhill. Downhill, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yikes. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely... If I was, if I enjoyed bike bicycling, I could see doing this, uh, especially since it's downhill. I'm glad it's not uphill because right. that would be a no go. Right, but downhill, it's still. I mean, like that's some. Uh, this, I'm sure it's like some mountain biking, so I'm sure it's not going to be just like smooth sailing. So yeah, yeah. Next up is the Crochel Wildlife Refuge. Uh, Sounds like it's just a big reserve where you can go look at animals. Oh, I'm cool. Uh, triple adventure. Bike, hike, and float. Nope. It's a, it's a three. <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> like, that's that involves me doing activity at each stop of that? I'm cool. Yeah. This next one, uh, it sounded interesting... But I, uh, then the more I read it, I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't think I'll do it. But it's the Chilkoot Lake Wilderness Kayaking. It's six and a half hours. Um, it involves a 45 minute cruise. Uh, you get an hour, almost two hours to to kayak. Uh, there's, uh, you know, there's a nice lunch that they do for you, a picnic style lunch, um, and and you get to hang out ar around the lake. Um, and like I said, it, it sounds nice, but then I'm like, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. So, yeah. Next up, uh, Eagle Preserve Float, six and a half hours. You, you interested in floating down a river? Is this like a, uh, is it like a raft type deal? Yeah, so a high-speed catamaran will take you to Haines, uh, and then a rafting adventure in the Chicat Bald Eagle River Reserve. Uh and a riverside picnic make this wildlife tour of a lifetime. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. 
I think I would only want to do it if I was with a group of people that were going to do it. Like if there was going to be, yeah. you know, five to eight other people with me. Yeah. I feel you. We're all going to be in the same boat. Same boat. Yeah. Uh, next up is the Haynes native culture experience. Do you, do you have any interest in learning about the native people of Alaska? Do I thought we had something like that on the last one in June? No, nope. Hmm. Uh, just what are what are the what are the highlights of that one? Uh, so this one doesn't lay out highlights. Let's just uh, skim it. Uh, your tour begins as you board a high speed catamaran to Haines. Uh, then you uh, let's see. Then you get to uh, go on a twenty two mile drive up up to the Chikat Valley. Um, there's a 40 minute scenic drive through the valley. Then you'll come to the eternal village of the Chikat people. Mm. I, I hope I'm saying that close to right. I'm not trying to say it wrong intentionally. Uh, you'll get to, to see a makeshift, uh, camp that is meant to symbolize or resemble their, their type of village. You'll get to hear storytelling and interpretation uh, of its totemic artworks, so totems. Um, get to see and hear about their basket weaving. Um, and then there's a gift shop, so you could buy some local native crafts. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's something that I, I mean, not to be, I'm not trying to be any way disrespectful, but I just don't think that would interest me. Yeah. Uh, next up is the Haynes Wilderness Odyssey by Jet Boat. Uh, so getting off a big boat to get on a little boat to, <laughs> to cruise around. Yeah. No. White Pass Railway and Suspension Bridge. So this is a, a five-hour excursion. It's a level one. Um, basically, you get to go on, on the train. Uh, but then you also get to go to the Tagish First National Staff and Elders to answer questions about the site uh, of this Yukon suspension bridge as you cross it over a raging river below. Yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah. Uh, how about a horseback adventure? Does that interest you? Um, I've ridden horses a couple times, and no, that does not interest me. Well, there is a horseback adventure for anybody that might be interested, and that's 249. Yeah. Uh, wildlife safari and bear viewing? Oh, you do not get a gun. I don't plan on shooting anything. I'm sorry. I am not going to look for bears unless I have a gun. To Wait, die. is this like a hike or something? I, or is this like in a, a some sort of vehicle? This is a level one. So uh, let's let's just read through it. Your excursion begins from Skagway on a 45 minute high speed catamaran ferry to the small town of Haines. A lot of these seem to start that way. Yeah. Uh, a, Upon arriving in Haines, we'll start with a narrated driving tour through historic Fort Seward, uh, the first military base in Alaska. Leaving town, we will journey through the amazing Chikut Valley. Uh, on our journey to the Chikut River corridor, we take in coastal views along the longest fjord in North America. We may spot seals, sea lions, porpoise, and whales feeding in these rich waters. The Chikut River is home to some of the best bear viewing in Alaska. The river's huge salmon runs bring good numbers of bears every year. Situated among rugged, glaciated peaks, it is home to numerous brown bears, mountain goats, salmon, river otters, and innumer innumerable bald eagles. This area is a bird watcher's paradise with abundant local and migratory birds. Powerful spotting scopes or binoculars will often allow close range views of mountain goats grazing in high alpine meadows and nesting e and nesting eagles on this tour. After capturing images and experiencing the incredible natural beauty and wilderness and wildlife of the Chikut River corridor, we'll enjoy a seaside picnic of sandwiches, chips, fruit, and cookies. Following lunch, we will head to the mouth of Ch Chikat River. Uh, home of the largest concentration of bald eagles in the world. Our final stop on the tour is habitat to all five species of wild Pacific salmon, drawing all of Alaska's predators to its shores. The four ice cap mountain ranges that surround the Chikat River provide an unparalleled photo photography opportunity. 
A short drive back to town brings us to the ferry for the return journey to Skagway. Do not forget your camera. Yeah, no, that sounds, that actually does sound pretty cool, not gonna lie. It sounds relaxing. Yeah, it's chill. Yeah. Next up is another featured one. Uh, and I'm not going to read through the whole thing because I'm sure by now you can gather what's going on here. White Pass Railway, Klondike Goldfields, and Panning. Oh. So it's basically like, is it? So that's just minus the, it's minus the show and, and the food, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next up is the Grizzly Falls Zip Lining Expedition. Oh, snap. You ready how for long it? How, how long is that one? This one's four hours. <laughs> Yo, yeah, let, give it to me. All right. Fast, fun, and exhilarating. This adventure is sure to excite nature lovers and thrill seekers alike. Get a running start on solid ground and take flight into the treetops of the Alaskan rainforest. Enjoy an yeah. entertaining tour through historic Skagway and along stunning coastline to Daia. After you suit up in your in gear that meets the highest safety standards, your guide will explain how to safely navigate the course. Then clip in and fly away through a course of 10 zip lines and four suspension bridges. And this is more than just any zip course. These lines will bring you directly above glacially fed waterfalls. This course also includes specialty lines such as the pipeline that's longer than two football fields combined. Zoom across the lines where you can reach speeds of 45 miles per hour. Yo. For the more cautious adventurers, rest assured that your guides will show you how to control your own speed. Yo. $239. How, how long is that one? Four hours. Whew. Sheesh. Man, I know there's a couple more zip lines, so that one, yikes! Kind of want to like, I definitely got, I definitely want to do a zip line, something or other. Fair enough. Next up is the Ocean Raft Wildlife Adventure, two and a half hours. Nah. All right. Chikoot Trail Hike and River Float. Nah. White Pass Railroad and Klondike Highway, foreign language. Oh, um, it's just the it's the same thing. Same it's thing. Just, just yeah, they have multiple languages on that one. Yes, Musher's Camp and Slog Dead, <laughs> Musher's Camp and Sled Dog Discovery. <laughs> Say that again. Um, what? It, uh, how much? How long is that one? Uh, three and a quarter hours. It's a level two. Is there food involved? Not as far as I can tell. Probably not then. Uh, Sawtooth Mountain Hike and right White Pass Railway? No. Uh, White Pass Scenic Railway? Just, just the train ride? Oh, just the train ride? No. Sure Alpine, Alpine Lake Canoe Adventure? <laughs> Definitely not. Historic Daia Walk and Musher's Camp. Mm, so I'm guessing it's the same as the others, just kind of. Yep, it's a it's a level one. Uh, the highlights say enjoying an enjoy an enlightening walk through a gold rush boom town that is now abandoned. Visit a Musher's Camp to learn how the dogs are trained to pull sleds through the snow. Interact with the dogs, which are superb athletes with remarkable strength and stamina. Hmm. I mean, how long is that one? Uh, two and three quarter hours. It's not too bad. That's something that you can do when you get there and then maybe do something else later. So here's one that I might want to do. Klondike Summit Suspension Bridge and Salmon Bake. <laughs> so this one, the adventure begins with a scenic motor coach ride along the Klondike Highway paralleling the route used by prospectors during the 1898 Klondike Gold Rush. You'll ascend to 3,290-foot White Pass Summit while you take in the magnificent scenery surrounding you. Your ride continues as you travel just a few miles north to the famous Yukon Suspension Bridge. 
while at the bridge, experience the sensation of swaying of a swaying walkway 57 feet above the rapids of the Tatushi River. Enjoy the scenery from the ma- main platform and then walk through the museum quality displays that detail the area's unique human and natural history. Next, you'll head to Liarsville Gold Rush Trail Camp for the Salmon Bake Buffet. Enjoy wild Alaskan salmon grilled over open wood fire. Baked chicken, salads, beans, pilaf, so on and so forth. 180. Oh, yeah. Those those bakes are the, the, the those those salmon bakes are the seller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Next up, last frontier zipline and adventure pack. Another zipline? Yep. This one's three and a quarter hours, and uh, it's 180. Um, it it seems to be a shorter course. It's six zip lines and some suspension bridges. So, hmm. a little bit on the shorter side. Yeah, but then still. you've got uh, mushers camp and gold panning. Uh, yeah. Go What's local. That? A look into the locals past. It's two and a half hours. Uh, oh, hold on. Delve into Skyway's wild and woolly past by hearing tales of the early settlers and discussing the town's raucous, freewheeling history over a few beers. Oh. While driving through Skagway, you can expect to see historical buildings such as the driftwood-adorned Arctic Brotherhood Hall and the notorious Red Onion Saloon. And it's basically a tour of, of the area. Uh while having the opportunity to have some beers. I'm not down. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not down to do that. But it doesn't include the beers. So keep oh, that in mind. Never mind. Uh, however, it does say the last line. Afterwards, you can discuss what you've seen while sampling a selection of local beers at a microbrewery. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe. We'll see. Next up, Mushers Camp and S'more Roasting Adventure. Nah. Uh, this one is called the Big Nugget, which uh, involves gold panning. Gold... Yep. Uh, oh, these came out really weird. Yukon Territory Scenic Drive. It's a six hour scenic drive. Uh, I don't want me for... to car that long. Yeah, I agree with you there. Uh, oh, here you go. This one sounds right up your alley. Klondike Rock Climbing and Repelling. Oh yeah, because that's totally something. I... <laughs> no, the repelling, no. the repelling part, I'd be down with. Not so much the rock climbing. No, you don't want to go rock climbing for three and a quarter hours for one hundred and fifty bucks. Sure don't. How about the Klondike bicycle tour? Uh, I mean, is there food involved? No. Yeah, then no. All right, historical city gold camp and salmon bake. I mean, if it's it's probably just like the other ones, right? Yeah, just it's a walk the... around the city. It looks like uh, with the salmon bake. Yeah, I mean that's something I'd, I'd probably be interested in doing. Yeah, then that one's only one forty. So you know, yeah. if you want to do some of this stuff on the cheap, um, you can absolutely do that. Yeah, uh, Skagway adventure hike. Nope. Hmm. Gold Fever and Sled Dogs sounds a lot of the same. Sounds, yeah, Liarsville Salmon Bake. So just straight up salmon bake. That's it. An hour and a half for ninety bucks. It's not bad. Uh, Skagway's original streetcar. Oh, that could be interesting. So you drive around Skagway in in an old style streetcar. That's kind of cool. You're learning some history and stuff. Mm-hmm. Get a little okay. tour. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, this one. This one could be fun. Uh, and it is the last one. So, Ghosts and Good Time Girls Walking Tour. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to read this one. Yeah. Step it's two hours. Step back in time with one of the sensational madams of the Red Onion Saloon, lavishly costumed and highly entertaining. She'll greet you with a souvenir garter. She'll guide you through the streets and back alleys of Skagway where women of the evening brush shoulders with notorious characters like Soapy Smith and Frank Reed. (laughs) You'll pass... You'll pass historic and haunted Gold Rush buildings as you learn of Skagway's rich history. 
Your experience culminates with a stop at the world-famous Red Onion Saloon Restored Brothel Museum. Join in a champagne toast and explore the halls and bedrooms of this celebrated brothel with relics and images of the ladies who work there. If you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of the resident ghost, Lindia. Ooh. $79. All right. That doesn't sound half bad. A little bit of fun. Yeah. So that is Skagway. A lot going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, why do they have to have so many? <laughs> some of these some of these things they have are like, like, yes! And it's like, why are they all in the same place? Yeah. So uh, that was Skagway. We've now covered Juno uh, and Skagway. Next up will be Ketchikan. Um, and we will cover that on our next episode. So uh, we hope you enjoy this. For those of you that are going on the cruise, uh, hopefully this helps tickle your fancy around trying to figure out what you might want to do and give you an insight to what we're thinking about doing. And for some of those that aren't going, hopefully this like is like, yo, that sounds like fun. I might need to get in on this. Yeah, because this this cruise is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, 